How can I chart this thick still feeling complete? There is so much information. His medical complications, legal status, religious background, his journey to this country. There is even a note indicating his Spanish is hard to understand. Somebody completed his paperwork. But nothing about his path of infection. Other providers had contact with this patient, but something is missing. He doesn't look sick, but he is. Thankfully, he has an unusual name. He sits uncomfortably across the room with a blank stare. The only sound is the tapping of his fingers against my desk. His muteness, thick and heavy, shocks me. Maybe it's his lack of understanding of the severity of this situation. Maybe he doesn't want to cooperate. I can't take his concealment any longer. I don't know what he needs, but I need a war, a reaction. Eyes fill up with tears, uncontrollable laughter followed by total seriousness. I need anything at this point. It's been weeks since he showed up in the ER and tested positive. He needs care, and I need to finish his paperwork. Suddenly, I see a familiar anger in his eyes. Progress. At least I thought so. I try. I'm here to help. You tested HIV positive and you require care. His body language is a wall. So I slam the table. Look, let's not waste each other's time. He pushed his chair back and looked straight at me. That works for me too. Stop acting like you know me, like we have met before. I had never been told I have HIV. I feel triumph. I grab his chart. Here are the notes from our last appointment. I point confidently. Isn't this your name? Your date of birth? Isn't this the church mission where you sometimes sleep? I go on and on, reciting all the information I thought he had shared with me during our first appointment. He stands up abruptly and strips off his shirt, points to his arm and shouts, I am not your patient. He cannot have this. If you really know me, you will know. My thoughts race and the sound of his voice bounces through the empty room. Have I been working with the wrong person all of this time? How much information have I disclosed to this person I thought was my patient? We ask so many questions. But are they the right ones? Are there better ones that we should be asking? Like, do you have a brother? <laughs> <laughs>